Hello again, Josh Carr here. So in between everything else I do, I do a lot of modeling work, both for my own deals and working with colleagues on their stuff. And I wanted to share with you a solution I have to a problem that seems to drive people a little bit batty. So the problem is this. Let's say you're building a project and you've got different unit types, you know, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, what have you. And you've got different absorption schedules. In this case, whereas the absorption period might be the same, that is to say they're all being absorbed over 12 months, the start date for the absorption is different. How do you figure out at what point is the entire complex or project, when does it reach some target lease up? Now, this is important in development models. Because, you know, in any kind of project, if you're doing lease up, you want to know when you're 95% full. So how do I figure out when the entire building is 95% full <coughs> if different things start at different dates and different things take different things take different amount of periods to lease up? So the first part up here, this is how I'd solve it. The first part up here says, what percentage are we full at this point? So, for example, in month three, you are three-twelfths full. In month 13, normally you would be 13-twelfths full, which makes no sense. So I said, if this ever exceeds one, then just plug in a one. In other words, lease it up to 100% and then stop. So the first part of this says, what's the absorption period? The second part says... If you have not started the lease up yet, like for example, my three bedrooms don't start leasing until month, month 18. If you haven't started the lease up yet, put in a zero. And then if you have started the lease up, this X lookup basically says, take the month you're in, subtract the month of the lease up, and then add to it one. In other words, for the studios, which start lease up in 12, month 12, this would basically say, take 12 minus 12 plus 1, and then it would start in the 12th month, which if you're starting lease up at month 12, that makes sense. And this rest of the lookup is just pulling down the percentage that it finds there. So for example, if this is the first month of the lease up, which is what it is, it then says, look for month one in the purple zone and find the percentage that corresponds to it. Cool. Now that we have different lease-up schedules starting at different times, and you can see the percentages coming on board are happening, you know, as I said, at different times, right? Like this is starting in month 12, and this is starting in month 14. This part down here, then does a sum product. This is a blend. It says, now that I know the percentages and the unit counts, basically take the number of units times the percentage and divide that by the number of units. And this would give you a weighted average, basically, a weighted average occupancy of the entire building. Again, that's that bit of formula. And then finally, to get this to work to see when do you get to 95%, which as you can see here is month 27, how does it find the month when you get fully stabilized? To do that, I used this little bit of code. It's a match function. It says, look at all the blue cells. We're looking in the blue cells for a true, and we're looking for the exact match. Basically, it's going to read from left to right. It's going to look at all the blue cells. It's going to see when it gets to be greater than 95%. And the moment it finds that exact match, it's going to tell you what position you're in. So again, in order, step one is a formula that says, what percentage least am I at this point? Step two takes those absorption periods 
takes into account when the lease up actually starts. Step three, does a weighted average to say, what is the percent occupied of the entire building? And then step four says, if the goal is to get the building 95% full, at what point am I 95% full? And it uses a match function. And there you go. That's how I solved this problem. I figured I'd share this with you because I thought it was a pretty nice and tight example of how to do it. Uh, and if this is new to you, uh, well, that's good. By the way, I do a series of Excel modeling classes. I do both live Excel modeling classes and also online courses. I've got some links to that in the description of this little video. So if this is the sort of stuff that fills you with joy, feel free to check out both my live or my um, you know, pre-recorded materials. Uh, and if you have other things that are driving you nuts in terms of Excel modeling, please contact me. My contact info is josh at carrealestate.com and you can check out both my live and my pre-recorded materials at carrealestate.com. Thanks again for your time. Until I see you again, keep building better models.